Hello and welcome to the Autumn Pumpkins Gardening Channel. I had to stop myself from laughing. That is the sound of summer here in Louisiana. Do you hear all that nature? Let's go out in the yard. I wanted to take a look at something with you guys. This is the Catawba Crepe Myrtle. We got it a few years ago um, in a three gallon pot. And it is a purple crepe myrtle. Look at it. It has been transplanted, which is one of my favorite hobbies to do, especially in the summer when you're not supposed to. And look at it. It is blooming away. It sort of has a little bit of an awkward shape right now. It's going through a little awkward phase. So we cut it down just a little bit when we're moving it. But, you know, things are growing out of proportion. Some of us can remember that. But it's going to be just fine. And it will show that you can actually have my little hoodie on for the rain. Um, you can have a tree form in a multi-trunk tree. So look at that. I wanted to look at the bark on it. So let's take a look at another tree that's been transplanted. Another Catawba crepe myrtle. This is another Catawba crepe myrtle that's been transplanted and I wanted you to see the new growth on it. It's taking a little bit longer to bloom. I don't know if you see those, just barely see that rain coming out while the sun's out. So we have some weird stuff in Louisiana. It's okay. But that new growth is a little orange, red, and yellow hues in it. And you can see those buds right there. But this is another one that's been transplanted in the heat of the summer. And we have this one underplanted with some roses. So it's very, very lovely to see it in full bloom or even not in bloom. This tree is very pretty just through all the different seasons because you have the new growth on it you can see that look at that that is so pretty and you should see it in spring so it's not just the fall foliage but just the spring foliage the summer it still has that going on plus the flowers in the summer into the fall and then the fall it's orange and I will show you guys that when it turns that color and then for the winter that's when you see the exfoliating bark and I'll show an example of the bark This is an example of the exfoliating bark. Look at it. It is happening right now. So that is supposed to happen. It's a good thing. And I don't know if you can see, there are little tiny ants crawling. We're gonna have to take care of that pretty soon because the ants will carry aphids on the tree and that could cause some problems for us. So we're gonna make sure we take care of this um, with an organic spray, the neem oil. As you can see the ants are marching, just marching away. But we're going to take care of that with a nice organic neem oil spray. We need to take care of it. Um, but look at that bark. You can get close on it. That coloring that it has. It's so pretty. It deepens. The later in the season it goes, it deepens. And I know it is summer, the sun is out, and you're wondering why is she filming this in the bright sunlight? I'm doing it on purpose. I really am. To show what it looks like in the bright sunlight. And I'll show again in the shade so you can see the coloring. But this is what we see most of the time. Is the lavender and the lilac colors. But it's still so pretty. Even in the bleach outlook, it is still so gorgeous up there. And this tree is expected to get 15 feet tall, which isn't too bad, but it's not a shade tree, but it's still so beautiful to look at it. So there you have it. That is the Catawba crepe myrtle and it is okay to transplant these things they say crepe myrtles are difficult i will say this one was fine i transplant things all the time and what i found 
is you just get to the edge, the drip line, to see how things are going. Water it in very well, and you don't want to start right here, like right by the base, but you want to come out some. You just, you want to come out. Um, maybe a couple feet, maybe three feet, just to make sure you have enough um, roots going with you into the area, just to go ahead and break up the area. So I like to break it up first, water it in very nicely, and then break it up um, to about a two foot, I'd say a two foot um, diameter around the tree. And I take all of that, I cut it back a little bit, and then you have this. The very next year that is that's been my experience anyway so i highly recommend the katamba crepe myrtle thank you so much for watching and we are going to get ready for this storm please subscribe to my videos and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching